welcome to another Honest Review. Ten days ago, I underwent the first of three Tixel treatments. Now, if you haven't heard of Tixel before, it is a skin resurfacing treatment designed to reduce uh, sagging, age spots, wrinkles and scarring, pretty much all of which I have. You have the treatment in a salon or a cosmetic clinic and whoever is delivering it for you will use a small handheld device that's attached to a bigger machine to send intensive pulses of heat into the skin, which feels like you're getting a, a jab every time they send a pulse. Um, now that burning puts your skin into repair mode and, and your body will send collagen to help uh, repair the skin. And that's what we hope turns the years back. I decided to have the treatment because I was becoming increasingly depressed about my sagging eyelids, which had got so bad on this side that I actually had contact dermatitis from where the eyelid kept rubbing against the mascara and it was irritating it. I took footage of myself immediately before, straight after, and in the following days after the treatment so that you could see for yourself what that recovery process looked like and that you can also judge whether it's had any impact. Hi, so I'm about to leave very shortly to go and get this Tixel treatment done. Uh, first time I've never had it before. Uh, what I'm gonna ask about today is instead of getting the whole eye treated, is if I could get the upper eyelid done and uh, these lines here to see if I can get a kind of overall lift. I know that it's an intensive heat treatment and I'm expecting my eyes to be quite red when I come out of here. Uh, hopefully it'll be worth it, but we'll soon see. Talk to you soon. I'm back. Um, I just quickly wanted to show you the level of redness. It basically looks like a bad case of sunburn. Um, the Tixel treatment itself is um, it's just quite a small device that delivers targeted but very strong heat into the skin in like tiny bursts. So they're just dotting it around the skin and every time it hits your skin, it feels like a big nip. So to me, she started under my eyes and that was the worst. And I thought the upper eyelids were gonna then be awful, but compared to the lower, they were fine. And then by the time she started to do, she just did a little bit of the lines of my forehead, by the time she started to do that, um, it was it was absolutely fine. It wasn't bad at all. To be fair, uh, it is already beginning to settle down a bit. And I believe that tonight she said I would probably feel a bit hot and that's gonna continue to be red tomorrow. Um, and I'm also not allowed to use my own cleanser or moisturizer for 48 hours. They've given me stuff to use. And I'm not allowed to use makeup for 48 hours, which is quite dramatic, but I'll survive. So this is me the next day. Um, I had a lot of puffiness this morning, uh, redness. I'm gonna kind of zoom in so you can see it close up. You can probably see the little grid marks that the treatment's left behind on the skin, but it won't really be um, too visible, hopefully. It'll be easy to cover. I'm glad I'm not in work today. I could have probably done it, you know, when I put my glasses on. Um, I don't think people would have seen. They have given me a cleanser. Um, a fa uh, it's a face wash that has what smells like tea tree oil in it. And then they also give you a vitamin C serum to promote healing. And then a moisturizer totally unfragranced. So using those products, not wearing makeup at the moment, just for 48 hours. Um, one of the things to flag up about this as well is that they say you have to stay out of the sun basically on your face for um, three months afterwards and wear uh, sunscreen. Okay, I'll check back in later. But what I was talking about, the discomfort is um, that's completely gone. There's nothing there today at all. Maybe just feels a little bit tighter where there's swelling, but otherwise I would forget that I'd had it if I didn't look in the mirror. So we're 48 hours in, or just coming up to 48 hours in. Um, I still have a lot of puffiness around the eyelids, unfortunately, which is a very standard response to me. This is, like I was saying yesterday, this is what it looks like when I've got a bad dose of hay fever. Everything feels a little bit less angry today, although the eyelids have been really itchy. 
overnight. Um, but didn't didn't stop me sleeping. I just noticed it last late last night and again early this morning. It's better probably to show you here where it's more obvious. These trap marks, I have them all over this roughness under the skin, um, but you can't really see them. And um, I'm still not able to wear makeup on this part of my face, but I will be able to from tomorrow. So this is day three now, um, and I woke up with still a lot of puffiness around my eyes. The big thing yesterday was incredible itchiness on my eyelids. So I've gone back to using my own epiderm moisturizer, which I really like. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time for my skin to get back to normal. Reading now that it takes up to between six weeks and three months, practically, for, for the full effects to take shape. Um, but I'll report back after a week um, and let you see how it's going. One thing I would say is that I think my eyelids are just a little bit more, probably because they're puffy, um, but the skin is just maybe slightly less crepey. It's had a big shock though. So 10 days on, this is what I look like now. First point is that the healing process was much quicker than I'd expected. So within four or five days, the skin had almost completely healed up and nobody would have noticed that I'd had anything done. 10 days on, um, I have to say that I can't say any dramatic difference directly above the eyes or around or underneath. But where the skin was really sagging and crepey above my eyes, I do see a bit of difference. Yesterday, I had a really good day. I wish I'd done the video then. The eyes looked almost perfect. Today, allergies are causing puffing. And so I've got a little bit of sagginess. I would say I am back to where I was about a year ago. Um, I'm gonna have another two treatments and um, I'm going to report back to you in six months once I've had the lot done so that you can see the final result. What I'm thinking at the moment is if one treatment has caused a little bit of bounce back in the skin, then hopefully three will give me a similar result to um, something like an eye lift, which would have been a very dramatic thing to do. The salon have told me to stay out of the sun for three months and to apply Factor 50 on the skin, which I'll do. Um, and they've also told me that the improvements in the skin could continue over the next three months. After that point, your skin basically goes back to its old aging process. So the results could last for about 18 months to two years. Uh, but the idea is after you've had the first three or four treatments, get the result that you want, you go back every year. Now, the downside of Tixel is the price. So depending on where you are in the world, you could spend between, and this is UK money here, between about 300 and 500 or 600 pounds for an eye treatment alone, one treatment. And generally clinics will package them up. So three eye treatments might cost you something like between 900 and 1,300 pounds, depending on where you are and where you go. What I would say is if you don't fancy going under the knife, and that is a a big thought, this may be worth a go. Check back with me in six months, I'll show you the very final result. Thanks for watching, feel free to share your own experiences or ask any questions in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe.